Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, uh, showrunner for Star Trek Picard, uh, Michael Chaban. This news, or this video, is to report that his full intention was to, or he admits that he wanted to piss off and provoke people. He sat down with Variety, and they asked him, so were there things about Picard that you knew you wanted to do that you could sense would test some boundaries for fans? Chabon answered, sure. To the extent I was aware of the kind of toxic fandom, the anti-SJW, you know, sad little corner of fandom. You just disregard that. He then added, sometimes you're motivated to have things simply because it's possibly going to piss off or provoke people who seem to have missed the memo about just what exactly Star Trek is and always has been about. I'm going to admit full out right now, I have never watched Picard. However, I did watch Star Trek Next Generation. I did watch Star Trek Voyager. I did watch all of those shows. Not once did I see any woke narratives being pushed. They didn't focus on pushing their own narrative agendas in those old shows. So this man is full of shit. And I will not watch uh, Picard. I was actually thinking about giving it a shot now that it's... Now that they're basically giving it away because it sucks so bad. But, no, I won't. If your sole intention is to piss off people who you perceive to be toxic, who in this case know more about Star Trek than you do, then it deserves every criticism that it receives that is not positive. I'm sorry, folks. I'm with people like Macarandom42. I'm with people that watched Picard show that are like, this isn't Star Trek. I've never seen an episode of Picard, like I said. And I don't want to, because I already knew it was going to be woke garbage, and it was going to be politically driven. Something that Star Trek never was when I watched it. But yeah, to to actually come out and admit this dude has some serious balls, man. And I have I have respect for him in the fact that he admits that his intention was to piss people off. But I, it's a very small amount of respect, kind of to match the size of something that he tried overcompensating for. But anyway, that's all. Or that's going to be the video for today, folks. I just wanted to let anybody who is a Star Trek fan who does not like identity politics and whatnot, and if you are anti-SJW, I just wanted to let you know he did it purposely to piss you off. He doesn't respect you. He doesn't care about you. That is what most people in Hollywood are starting to push. They don't truly respect fans. And until they go back to respecting fans, until they go back to making entertainment for everyone, not just the small little bit that agrees with them, they're going to continue to suffer, and I hope that they suffer into the ground. I am willing to hope that the entertainment industry tanks during this crisis so that they might learn that it's not just the crisis that was... Because they were tanking before that, folks. They were. Hollywood was seeing a rapid decline 
before this world crisis started. I'm just one of the people that was noticing it. But anyway, folks, that is going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What you think of Michael Chabon's statements about calling people who disagree with him toxic and whatnot and sad and whatnot. Let me know your thoughts about what you think of Picard if you saw it. Give me all your thoughts down in the comments below. Be civil if you have a difference of opinion. Be civil. I'll engage you. If you're not, I won't. Uh, stay tuned for April 10th. I have a, another versus stream planned out. It's going to be Goku versus Superman. I got Mary Jade from Jade Shadow Channel. And I got Riot Kitty from her channel. I'm hoping to get Lethal Lightning. But if he can't, he can't. Uh, there are still slots open, folks. There's for the full panel. I would love a full panel for this one. Not just five, but six people total to be paneled. So there's five slots open plus me. So yes, folks, if you want to be a part of that, let me know. DM me on Twitter if you're following me on Twitter. Let me know if you're on Facebook and you want to be a part of it. You gotta at least know one character or the other. If you have general knowledge of both characters, that's also a plus. I want to get, I want this to be a meaningful discussion, like the other versus streams were. Anyway, folks, this has been Orange Chat Reviews. Get y'all on the next one.